Yeah. Look who making a video around this motherfucker finally, right? Yeah. Broken Games HDR. Listen, man. Gaming news has been in the gutter ever since Microsoft decided to completely wave the white flag and concede. Sony has been in a just a very strange and odd spot of inactivity. And Nintendo is pretty much just waiting for waiting to drop their next console. There ain't been nothing to talk, talk about around this motherfucker. Like it's been the worst time for gaming news, gaming discourse conversations. It's been absolutely horrible. I think it's been like three weeks or a month since I've made a video or like made videos consistently. By the way, um, excuse the, uh, you know, I don't I'm not exactly sure how the video is going to sound. This room is currently untreated and vis visually it looks like I'm in heaven or something like that. Everything is, is very white and, and, and uh, bright back there. Haven't, you know, treated the room yet to make it right for uh, videos visually or audio. So you got to excuse that everybody knows I I moved and everything like that. So still still setting a few things up. But anyway, yeah, we finally got something to talk about. Something even though it's not the most exciting shit. First of all, I'm going to start out with something that I personally don't care about, but it's interesting. Um so Beth uh, Bethesda is going to drop a major update for Starfield. Uh, it's going to get a 60 FPS and 40 FPS mode on the Series X. No mention of Series S based on what I'm looking at. I thought they I thought they like required parity ac across both their consoles. Um, maybe that's not true. Maybe I imagine that in my mind. But I thought, especially for them, since it's like first party shit, I thought anything they did to the Series X, they would have to also find some way to do with the series s also um maybe i'm incorrect about that but it's finally getting a 60 F fps mode and a 40 fps mode after remember when it was dropping like last year whenever the hell it was they said it was a creative choice um w you know whatever their reason you know these developers have different different uh pr wordings of how oh it's a creative choice oh uh, it's, uh, what, what, what's the other bullshit? Oh, it's for cinematic reasons and all this other nonsense when I absolutely, I, and I gave them a little, I cut them a little bit of slack, right? When it, when it came to this, cause sometimes I like to give developers the benefit of the doubt and be like, Hey, they say they have a lot of shit going on in their game and it's really hard to, uh, make it 60 FPS. I partially believe you. I'm going to give you, I'm going to cut you a little bit of slack, give you a little bit of benefit of the doubt. But here you come a year later with the 60, 60 FPS mode when you pretty much said it couldn't be done because you were prioritizing other things. And then the fan base was making excuses. Oh, no, 30 FPS. Oh, no, it's fine. Like, bro, like, like, like I always said, I'm always going to advocate for 60 FPS. I'm never going to say I would never pay, play, pay, play. See, I ain't done a video in so long, I forgot how to talk. I will never say that I won't ever play a 30 FPS game, but I'm always going to push for 60 FPS, and I'm never going to necessarily buy uh, what you're selling me if you're telling me 60 F FPS can't be done. It could be done if you make certain sacrifices and just give people the damn option. Even if the sacrifices are really bad, give people the option. If the 60 FPS, FPS is so fucking bad and people are like, oh, this looks absolutely disgusting, at least they still have the option to go back to like a fidelity mode or something like that. Other things, um, custom difficulty options, more detailed service maps, new ship customization, respec and change appearance, creation kit going out to beta testers now, land vehicles confirmed for later. Cool. Um, listen, it's my opinion that the people, some people are still going to play Starfield, um, but the the ship, in my opinion, the ship has kind of sailed as far as like if you want to keep like a, a, a constant flow of people interested in this game and you want to deliver on that uh, that 10 year plan that they that they claim um, they were going to have for this game and all that shit. I, I don't you know, I, ne I never believed in that and, and all the hype in this game. Did I play it? No, it's not my type of game, but I, I never believed what Bethesda always sells because they always sensationalize exaggerate and remember 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 the hype around this game prior to prior to coming out from the fan base and bethesda 
The fan base, oh, they were rabid. They were disgusting. They were sickening. Remember, this was going to be the greatest game ever made. The, the greatest thing ever made. We've never seen nothing like it before. It was going to influence generations a hundred years from now. You know, it was, a, it was the best thing, best thing since Pants with Pockets. Not saying it was a bad game. Like I said, I ain't play it. But by all accounts, people say it wasn't that. It was a good game. Even great. But it wasn't what people made it out to be the year or two years prior. It, it, it wasn't that. Um, but listen, um, great for all the people uh, who are still interested in that are going to play the 60 FPS mode. Developers, y'all can't get this. Y'all, you, you couldn't let this shit fly before. Like I said, last generation, you could have gotten away a little bit with the whole uh, filmic, cinematic, creative choice excuse of why you don't have a 60 FPS mode. Bro, we're, that, that shit doesn't fly no more. It doesn't fly. Nobody's believing you. Same thing with Hellblade. But remember this video. Hellblade will get a 60 FPS mode. They just said, oh, it's a cinematic choice or whatever. It's, it's the better version, right? Well, why does the PC version, why can the PC version run at above 60 if it's the better way to play it is at 30, right? Mark my words, Hellblade will get a 60 FPS mode. Guarantee it. I'm pretty sure Starfield got a lot more going on systems and mechanically than Hellblade. Hellblade is going to be the, you know, the better looking game visually, but there's nothing about Hellblade 2 that tells me a, a 60 FPS mode can't be done. It absolutely can be done. I, I would, I, I would, I like developers. It would be great if they would just be honest and say, hey, it's not ready yet, or we didn't have time, or we're going to get to it at a later point. It's going to come to come out a later point. That honest, that type of honesty and transparency, they probably feel like it may hurt them. But bro, just be real about it. Don't feed us this bullshit and nonsense. It's it's whatever. So um, yeah, Starfield is getting that update. Uh, good for them. Uh, the people being messy talking about the reason it's getting a 60 FPS mode is because it's preparing to come to PlayStation. Um, we we know more games are gonna you know more of these Xbox games are gonna come to PlayStation. I have no interest in Starfield. I I won't ever play it. Um, but cool. The other news that I'm gonna touch on is uh, Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn. So the Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition is being removed from PlayStation uh plus extra on May 21st. And when I saw this news, I'm like, okay, who cares? Who gives a fuck? Why is this news? Right. I don't I don't pay attention to like games that are going in and out of subscription services. I'm like, I don't. Why is this a big deal? And then it hit me and I'm like, fuck. Oh, God, please don't make it be true. We got this rumor a long time ago that there was a Horizon Zero Dawn remaster or remake happening and it didn't happen. We didn't we haven't heard about it for a while. And I'm like, great, it's not happening. It was maybe it was just a bullshit rumor. It's not actually happening. Because it's absolutely pointless, right? But with this hap, this leaving, it could be a sign that it's coming, especially with the timing. You know, there's another rumored uh, PlayStation showcase that's going to happen in May. Well, it's May right now, uh, May or June, sometime around. I don't know. Um, but I can't tell you how disgusted I would be if this was real. I would be absolutely disgusted. See, here's the thing, right? When it comes to The Last of Us, Last of Us gets a lot of flack for the remaster and then the, re the remaster and then the remake, right? In my opinion, I know a lot of people don't share this sentiment. I'm not trying to argue nobody. It's my opinion that The Last of Us uh, remaster and remake was completely justified, completely warranted and justified. Because in my, I mean, you got to think about it. 2013 is a long ass time. It's, it's 10 years ago. And that's an, it, we're, we're talking about a game that was honestly made like in 2010 around that time. Right. As far as like what the systems and, 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 and the gameplay and, and the visuals and all that stuff. It's really a product of the time before two, two, 2013, you know, because of the development time and all that stuff. So it's an older game. Games are older than their release date. Right. So we're talking about a game that's honestly pretty fucking old. Um, and especially with the, TV, with the TV show 
and they wanted people they wanted a game that people could actually go to and that's not super old like a new audience you don't want to introduce them to something that's that old in my opinion and to me to me even when the last of us came out and this is not revisionist history i've I've said this like since when the game last of the original last of us came out i felt the, the original last of us was dated when it initially happened I, I, when it initially released, I felt like it was dated then. And then the re, you had to kind of had to remaster it because you don't want it just, you know, being stuck on an island of the PS3. And that's the only way people could play it. So you had to do a quick remaster and get it on PS4 so people could play, you know, the multiplayer and and, you know, people could just play it in general on on PS4. And then a bunch of years later, they did the actual remake when. Like, like I said, because if, if they didn't need to do a quick transition to PS3 to PS4, if they didn't need to do that, they probably would have waited to do a remake. So, yeah, later on, we need to do an actual remake. So it's just my opinion that both of those were, were needed. They were, th- those were necessities. So I don't agree with the, the fact that The Last of Us remaster and remake get. In my opinion, those were needed. I played the remake and like, yeah, I after playing the remake, personally, I would never go back to the to the to the remaster of the original. Like to me, like just I'm not saying the difference is like drastic. But I'm saying the difference is enough to warrant its its existence, in my opinion. With Horizon Zero Dawn, there is zero reason to remaster or even re- to remake or even remaster this game. Last of Us in my opinion aged, you know. You you could see and feel the age on it. Horizon Zero Dawn in my opinion does not have that problem. It does not. That game came out 2000, what was it? Uh fuck, I can't even remember. What was that 16, 17? Whatever year it came out. That game looks Better than a lot of games that, that, that come out right now. And it even plays better than some games that come out right now. Like, that is a very current game in all manners, in all facets you can think of. There is nothing like that age has done to, or the years have done to that game to, like, whittle it down to make it like, oh, man, we could not present this game to somebody in 2024. That that's not the case. Like I said, with The Last of Us, I can, I definitely see how you could say you wouldn't want the the original Last of Us. You wouldn't want to give that to somebody in 2024. You give somebody Horizon Zero Dawn in its original form from the year it came out. If you give them it right now, people aren't gonna feel like, oh man, this game, this game feels like it got a little bit of dust on it. It got a little bit of age on it. You know, it's 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 not the years aren't treating it well no it it feels like a very current and modern game still so i see no purpose for this none whatsoever i i I cannot come up with a with a reason why you would need to do that even like i I, it's probably more of a remaster if it's a remake then it's a complete fucking disgrace if if it's a re if it's a remake it's a disgrace if it's a remaster it's not that bad of a and, and big of a deal especially depending on who was working on it um but overall, it's pointless and unnecessary. So I, I just hope it's not real, man. It's, it's just so stupid. I, I can't, I can't, I just can't think of any reason why you would want or need to do this. Even, we don't even, that, that TV show doesn't seem like it's coming out anytime, anytime soon. So it's like, why? I cannot, I just cannot come up with a, with a reason or, you know, rationalize in my head why you would need to need to do this i i I just can't um i can't man i I just can't think of one so i'm i'm not somebody who's like outraged about y'all know i i don't get outraged about everything like every like motherfuckers on the internet do like oh everything is just upsetting everything is maddening everything is an outrage thing Right. If, if a game gets remaked or, re, or re, remastered, you rarely see me. You, you almost never see me complain about it because I'm down for that. Anything that makes a game better and like it, it's 
I feel like it's warranted and I'm like, oh, I could see how that, that may need improvement. I'm not going to complain about it. I, the rest of the internet does. You'll, you'll never see me do it. This one, zero fucking sense. If you see me complain about a remake or a remaster, then you know it's completely fucking stupid because I don't mind them. But this one would be so fucking dumb, bro. No point at all. So, um, yeah. Uh, so all I got to say, hey, man, follow me on Twitter. Um, hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. All that good shit. And uh, I guess I'll catch you all on the next video whenever that is. Because, uh, like I said, gaming news is in the absolute gutter. So, um, but, maybe, you know, this week wasn't, wasn't so bad. Maybe next, you know, maybe gaming news will start to pick up. And, um, yeah, gaming news is definitely in a rut. I'm not going to say gaming in general is in a rut, but gaming news, oh, yeah, it's the worst it's, it's ever been. But things may change, man, and it's, it's, it's going to be up. It's going to be up to these developers to, to change it, give us something to talk about. I don't, bro, at this point, I don't give a damn it's just, if it's negative or positive. Hey, give me some negative news. Just, just give me some damn news. Give me something to talk about so weirdos aren't, aren't talking about fake bullshit censorship that's not actually happening and, and being mad about optional microtransactions and all the other dumb, dumb shit that gamers start to complain about. Oh, and DEI and all this other dumb shit they start to complain about when they don't have no actual gaming news. Save me, please. Sick of that shit. All right, I'm out, y'all. Peace.